gallon. The gallon is a unit of measurement for volume and fluid capacity in both the U.S. customary units and the British Imperial systems of measurement. Three significantly different sizes are in current use. The imperial gallon defined as liters, four imperial quarts or eight imperial pints, which is used in the United Kingdom, Canada, and some Caribbean nations. The U.S. gallon defined as 231 cubic inches, four U.S. liquid quarts or eight U.S. liquid pints, or about which is used in the U.S. and some Latin American and Caribbean countries, and the least used U.S. dry gallon defined as. The IEEE standard symbol for the gallon is GAL. The gallon currently has one definition in the imperial system, and two definitions, liquid and dry, in the U.S. customary system. Historically, there were many definitions and redefinitions. There were more than a few systems of liquid measurements in the pre-1884 United Kingdom. The imperial. UK, gallon, now defined as exactly liters, about 277.42 cubic inches, is used in some Commonwealth countries and was originally based on the volume of 10 pounds, approximately 4.54 kilograms, of water at. The imperial fluid ounce is defined as of an imperial gallon, there are 4 quarts in a gallon, 2 pints in a quart, and 20 imperial fluid ounces in an imperial pint. The U.S. gallon is legally defined as 231 cubic inches, which is exactly a U.S. liquid gallon of water weighs about at, making it about 16.6% lighter than the imperial gallon. There are four quarts in a gallon, two pints in a quart and 16 U.S. fluid ounces in a U.S. pint, which makes the U.S. fluid ounce equal to of a U.S. gallon. In order to overcome the effects of expansion and contraction with temperature when using a gallon to specify a quantity of material for purposes of trade, it is common to define the temperature at which the material will occupy the specified volume. For example, the volume of petroleum products and alcoholic beverages are both referenced to in government regulations. This dry measure is one eighth of a U.S. Winchester bushel of cubic inches, it is therefore equal to exactly 268.8025 cubic inches or about. The U.S. dry gallon is not used in commerce, and is not listed in the relevant statute, which jumps from the dry quart to the peck. Gallons used in fuel economy expression in Canada and the United Kingdom are imperial gallons. Despite its status as a U.S. territory, and unlike American Samoa, the Northern Mariana Islands, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico ceased selling gasoline by the U.S. gallon in 1980. The gallon was removed from the list of legally defined primary units of measure catalogued in the EU Directive 80-181 EEC for trading and official purposes, with effect from December 31, 1994. Under the directive the gallon could still be used, but only as a supplementary or secondary unit. One of the effects of this directive was that the United Kingdom amended its own legislation to replace the gallon with the leader as a primary unit of measuring trade and in the conduct of public business. Effective from September 30, 1995. Ireland also passed legislation in response to the EU directive, with the effective date being December 31, 1993. Though the gallon has ceased to be the legally defined primary unit, it can still be legally used in both the UK and Ireland as a supplementary unit. The United Arab Emirates started selling gasoline by the leader in 2010, along with Guyana and Panama in 2013. The two former had used the imperial gallon and the latter the U.S. gallon until they switched. Myanmar, Burma, switched from imperial gallon to liter sales before 2014. The imperial gallon continues to be used as a unit of measure in Anguilla, Antigua, and Barbuda, the Bahamas, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Kitts, and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Other than the United States, the U.S. gallon is used in Liberia, Belize, Colombia, the Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Peru, but only for the sale of gasoline. All other products are sold in liters and its multiples and submultiples. Antique and Barbuda plan to switch over to using liters by 2015, but the switchover had not been effective. In the Turks and Caicos Islands, both the U.S. gallon and imperial gallon are used, due to an increase in tax duties disguised by levying the same duty on the 3.79 liters U.S. gallon as was previously levied on the 4.55 liters imperial gallon. Both the U.S. liquid and imperial gallon are divided into four quarts, quarter gallons, which in turn are divided into two pints. These pints are divided into two cups. 
though the imperial cup is rarely used now, which in turn are divided into two gills, gills are also rarely used. Thus a gallon is equal to 4 quarts, 8 pints, 16 cups or 32 gills. The imperial gill is further divided into 5 fluid ounces, whereas the U.S. gill is divided into 4 fluid ounces. Thus an imperial fluid ounce is of an imperial pint or of an imperial gallon, while a U.S. fluid ounce is of ounce pint or of a U.S. gallon. The imperial gallon, quart, pint, cup and gill are approximately 20% larger than their U.S. counterparts and are therefore not interchangeable. The imperial fluid ounce, on the other hand, is only 4% smaller than the U.S. fluid ounce and therefore they are often used interchangeably. In the U.S., liquor is often sold in fifths, which are approximately one-fifth of a U.S. gallon. The term derives most immediately from gallon, gallon in Old Northern French, but the usage was common in several languages, for example in Old French and bowl, in Old English. This suggests a common origin in Romance Latin, but the ultimate source of the word is unknown. The gallon originated as the base of systems for measuring wine and beer in England. The sizes of gallon used in these two systems were different from each other. The first was based on the wine gallon, equal in size to the U.S. gallon, and the second on either the ale gallon or the larger imperial gallon. By the end of the 18th century, three definitions of the gallon were in common use. The corner dry gallon was used in the United States until recently for grain and other dry commodities. It is one-eighth of a Winchester bushel, originally a cylindrical measure of inches in diameter and eight inches in depth. That made the dry gallon. The bushel, which like dry cord and pine still sees some ooze, was later defined to be 2,150.42 cubic inches exactly making its gallon exactly. In previous centuries, there had been a corn gallon of around 271 to 272 cubic inches. The wine, fluid, or liquid gallon has been the standard U.S. gallon since the early 19th century. The wine gallon, which some sources relate to the volume occupied by eight medieval merchant pounds of wine, was at one time defined as the volume of a cylinder six inches deep and seven inches in diameter, i.e., it had been redefined during the reign of Queen Anne in 1706, as 231 cubic inches exactly, which is the result of the earlier definition with pi approximate to. Although the wine gallon had been used for centuries for import duty purposes there was no legal standard of it in the exchequer and a smaller gallon was actually in use, so this statute became necessary. It remains the U.S. definition today. In 1824, Britain adopted a close approximation to the ale gallon known as the imperial gallon and abolished all other gallons in favor of it. That inspired by the kilogram liter relationship, the imperial gallon was based on the volume of 10 pounds of distilled water weight in air with brass weights with the barometer standing at 30 inches of mercury and at a temperature of. In 1963, this definition was refined as the space occupied by 10 pounds of distilled water of density weight in air of density against weights of density. The original brass was refined as the density of brass alloys varied depending on metallurgical composition. This works out at approximately. The metric definition of exactly cubic decimeters, also after the liter was redefined in 1964, comma, was adopted shortly afterwards in Canada, but from 1976 the conventional value of was used in the United Kingdom until the Canadian Convention was adopted in 1985. Historically, Gallons of various sizes were used in many parts of Western Europe. In these localities, it has been replaced as the unit of capacity by the liter. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.